I like being in this setting. I enjoy the rural life. I think it's a little slower pace. And to me, it, it fits my personality just to a T. As I've gotten older, I've cared less about what other people are doing and more about what I want to do. And not so quite concerned about the political correctness of art, if that's possible to say it like that. I'm just doing my own thing and not too worried about what anybody else wants me to do. So, if that means I'm independent, <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I use the intuitive approach. These things, I'm not sure always where they come from. They come from somewhere back in your mind, um, forms, ideas. That's part of what an artist has to do, is to find out the path that you really want to go on. And, and to some degree, I'm still searching. I'm um, very much involved in the material I work with, which is metal, but metal takes many different forms and many different alloys. And so I use a variety of metals to express myself either three-dimensionally or my new venture is on the wall. I, I like the, the totalness of what I do. I like the process, I like the smells, I like the sights and the sounds and the even the noise to some degree is, is a, an enjoyable experience. I do sketch uh, on, a, on, a, on a piece of paper, but that's only with a very, very rudimentary idea. And then I really like to start in with material. I can take um, different kinds of material, sort of having an idea of what I'm going to do with it in terms of texture or form because my choices, uh, that dictates my choices somewhat. You can start almost in a violent manner, hitting and hammering and bashing. There is a, a physicalness of um, the relationship I have with the material. You're in there hammering and bending and moving it around and trying to manipulate it and uh, that you get a response from it because the metal either does what it what you don't want it to do or you make it do what you want it to do and so you learn how to do that. Once you learn how um, to work with the metal and figure out how you can make it do whatever you want to, there's a, there's a great amount of joy in that. I absolutely love texture. It's one of the elements of my work, whether it was three-dimensional or flat. I, I find uh, that Making the metal do things like that is just very, very satisfying. The color aspect of it that I've been doing lately is a um, very spontaneous, very immediate sort of thing. I have a palette of about 13 colors that I'm currently working with, and uh, something called dye oxides. It's a type of a patina. It's put on with heat, and so that I see what I get. And so I'm heating the metal up to a couple hundred degrees with a torch in one hand, and then I'm using either a sponge or a brush or some other method of application in the other hand. So I'm working and it's happening right as I'm going there. I think I am trying to do something different with my material like all artists are, but um, it's less so much about the material as about the visual aspects of it then. I'm juxtaposing different materials and different colors and different textures that they may not have seen before. And uh, for me, that's the, the visual challenge to this whole thing and what I really enjoy about it. When it comes right down to the end, uh, the surface that's so important to me um, needs to be caressed a little bit more, always. It's very methodical, very almost relaxing. You're accomplishing something and you, you, you're caressing the form and making this beautiful object. So, well, yeah, I love it.